But, I mean, just the, you know, I, I know there's those sharks in the water, you know what I'm saying? All right. We're going to be seeing the Warrior versus the Mi Sword Fighter. I believe he uses Chakram. Uh, the Mi Sword Fighter, obviously, for those who don't know, has custom has like custom moves, so he gets to pick between, I think it's four for each move. Three each different. Three yeah. different custom moves per, like, there's four specials. And then each of those four specials, there's three different options. Right, so Chakram is this uh, annoying little ring that he's shooting <laughs> out. And then, of course, he'll Very also. Quick. <laughs> Yeah, he'll also have a slower projectile uh, that is the uh, hurricane, the yep. tornado. And then I believe he has a reversal slash as his down B, which is a reflector. Yes, a reflector, yep. And then rapid spin, which is basically a link up B. Yep, and he'll like to combo that tornado neutral B into the, uh, the up B rapid spin for a kill confirm. You know, he's been doing so well. Yeah, he's not giving this. You know, he's uh, not giving, even, even, you know, generally Mii Sword Fighter is a character that chips you a lot, you know, does a lot of, like, random damage to you. But he's not letting it happen. Actually, he's not letting any of it happen. Zero yeah, percent on command. Yeah, exactly zero percent. Even though he's been spearing Chakrams. Oh, man! Dude, can, can you get a? Oh, misses the dash grab. He just gets slapped, slapped, slapped. Dang! Sue just literally just got slapped up. Did zero damage. Zero to death here for Kamame. And don't be fooled, man. Sword Fighter is the name, but uh, projectile character is the the game for this uh for for this character. A lot of side B, a lot of neutral B. There's that yeah. tornado coming out. Beautiful parry. Yeah, I mean, Kamehameha just kind of, he's saying, you know, I'll just go back to Lucario, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you not going to lie, man. <laughs> not you know, gonna lie. He still has Waft. He has this massive lead. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he definitely he, has that, like, top tier lead where it's just like, yeah. I'm beating you and I'm a top tier. <laughs> yeah, you know, that top tier lead. I'm beating you and I have a jank mechanic. So, you right, know. right, right. But, yeah, I mean, it. Uh, this Swordfire sword Ooh, fire that, might be have to go in the pocket after this game. Yeah, I mean, so if he does connect that tornado thing, it will connect him to an up air, I believe. Oh, we didn't get any good for that time. Yeah, but he's out of percentage now. Oh, okay. So he can't really confirm it into anything at this percent, so uh, it's kind of bone. Oh, using the bike against him. All right, he's just going to, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he can't confirm it. It covers a lot of options, but it's, it's so much lag. Catching the, the normal get up with the dash attack, just, you know... Are, are you are you about to get three stock? He's got he's got waft too. He literally needs yeah. to get him to thirty max rage. Ooh, I don't know. Was that reverse slash or hero? But what, what was that? I think that, that was, was hero spin. Hero All right, spin. up the out of shield. Oh no, this is so it. dangerous. Ooh, okay. but the up tilt. We're in, we're in, we're good to go. We're not we're not gonna get three stock. Okay, let's see down tilt. Get some you know. starter here for Sue. Oh, the shock. chakram. Said. Yeah, that was one of the first chakrams he hit this game. Yeah, I Chakram is mean, a, a very annoying special, but actually not that hard to avoid. Yeah, Kameme doing a really good job not getting hit by it. Of course, right when we bring it up, gets hit by like two or three in a row. But like throughout this match, he hasn't been oh, really the getting slow Chakram. Yeah, if you if you hold a certain direction, it's a uh, oh. Ah, there's the walk. Tragic. Yeah, so I will explain the Chakram, <laughs> even though we're probably not going to see the Sword Fighter. But you can do a slow Chakram, and it's kind of like a setup move where it's like goes out, comes in very slowly, and you okay. can you can like set up certain things. Okay, that's awesome. But I, I think Kamehame is oh, yeah, yeah. single-handedly retired uh, <laughs> Sue's sword Yeah, I, I, you know. Oh, he's trying out the Joker. Um, Dang, man, that was the fastest switch to DLC if I've ever seen one. Now, I, we got to see, you know, a good, a really high-level version of this matchup. MKLeo versus Tweak at Momo, uh, Momo, uh, MomoCon. The highest level we're going to Yeah, the highest see. level we're going to see. So, you know, I, I wonder, you know, it seemed like then the Joker had a solid advantage. But, we're, you know, we're going to see really here, like, you know, especially, has Sue's Joker worked out for him very much today? I know he's picking a few sets. Uh, he did it versus, uh, he played versus Vitality, and then he swapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the versus Not Rio. too much from what we've seen, but that's not counting, like, the earlier parts of Bracket. I do feel like uh, Joker does really well in this matchup. Uh, back air, very, very fast, very strong air to air. Yeah. And I feel like if you have very strong air to air, that's a very big plus against Wario, and if you can kill him at 100, which, of, of course, Arsene is very, very good at. So we're going to see some, uh, I mean, Sue can set up some very early stocks. But yeah, I, mean, I mean, geez, if... Uh, it, it's, very, it's very hard, and uh, Rebel's Guard is, um, well, let's say, incredibly difficult for a warrior to deal with offstage. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, you know, so, I mean, the Arsen almost coming out to play here. Now I wonder if, if there's a damage threshold on Arsen, or on, on uh, the counter, the Rebel's Guard, because I know with, like, Olimar, the super armor on his down B, he, uh -huh. can just go, he can go straight through a walk. Wow. Yeah, so I wonder... If that'll play, come, into, come into play here. 
if he can survive Ooh. this Arsene, then Kamehameha is looking like in a really good position. And which it looks like it might. Because Arsene's about to run out and Sue yeah, is just running, just running around him. Wow, e even getting aggressive, Kamehameha going right into him even with uh, okay. Arsene up. Doesn't have a kill throw, I don't believe. I mean, back throw will kill like right at the edge at very, very high percent. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, and he eats it after too. Okay. Oh, just runs in with the dash tag. No setup or anything. Yeah. You know, Kamehameha, he wants this money. Yeah, and it really comes down to in this matchup is can you survive Arsene? Really comes down to that, and looks like the answer is yes here for Kamehameha, 170%. Ooh, getting the smash that shield. That was so, was so good. But he burns some like meter gain in a sense where it's like Sue's about to get Arsene, and Kamehameha is nowhere near dead. So yeah, that's I mean, a very big deal. Well, Waft is live, by the way. But, of course, uh, Waft is live, and that's a very, very big deal here. And if you can get some kind of Waft set up right before Arsene or just as Arsene comes up, that's going to be oh, a really Oh, yeah, that would be a tragic position to be in for uh, for uh, to. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right. Arsene, and he's about prime time for that Waft. There he looked for the, the tilt, weak hit. But he got oh, the wrong but side. He gets the wrong side. But it, it like burned half of our sense meter, but I mean that's such a big resource out the window. Yeah, I mean it's it's damaged, but you you you'd rather have the uh, you know, you'd rather have a kill. It flew him so far that he practically burned all the our sense. Ooh, dash taking a normal get up. You know, I, I'm wondering, you know, if, if this doesn't work out for Sue, you think he is going to pull out another character out of the out of the bank? Yeah, we could just see him go back to Lucario. That's like the closest thing we saw so far. Kamehameha just looks like he has a lock on all of his other characters. There's the Rebel yeah, Guard. Rebel and Guard Arsene. breaking up the combos. Oh, he has the bike. Gets up. He yeah, no. Stadium says no. Not allowed. He's wait, waiting on the platform. He's like, yeah, I'll wait for Waft. Wait for Waft. And you get double value, man. You wait out the Arsene, too. Ooh, doesn't get the clap, though, to follow up on that Nair. Oh, he barely misspaces that. Yeah, the jump was really good to like evade. Oh man, the ladder combos. I know, right? Comboing off side B though. Oh, he's still getting damage taken on him. Wow. Yeah, that is the the side B does do damage over time. Pretty much even here, and the parries are coming out for both players. Spot dodges as well. Up air and up air tries to get the up B off the top as well. Oh, try, well, slowly walks up and spot dodges. Oh, this is a dangerous position to be in. Arsene nowhere, looking nowhere near kill percent, but uh, Sue's kind of looking uh, pretty comfortable in terms of kill percent as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean you know, he's, he's not anywhere close to getting Arsene, but, you know, Joker, even though he, uh, with Arsene, he's certainly much scared. Oh, just jumps up and does wow. it! Wow. So clutch every Kamehameha single time. so good with that. And it's just not the walk confirmed, Sue, because I feel like there's some wars that will, like, they'll focal... They'll like tunnel vision so hard on the uh, the confirm, yeah. and they won't use the fact that like, oh, you're trying to avoid my confirm, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover the option that like you're trying yeah. to do to avoid my confirm. So yeah, right there we saw Kamehameha actually do that, and it's just it's incredibly smart. Yeah, I mean it looks like he's gonna be staying Joker. Um, honestly, I didn't think it did that terrible. I think there was some unfortunate moments, you know, but uh, I think overall you know, it's, it's not a bad match to be playing. Man. And Kameme really like closing out this top three with solo Wario. Yeah. Uh, very unexpected. Uh, definitely Kameme kind of came onto the scene and was known for his uh, Mega Man in Smash 4 and still known for his Mega Man in this game, but also bringing the Wario into the play as well. And I like that he used Nutri B to cover the Rebel's Guard. The, uh, the grab will not proc the Rebel's Guard. It has to be like an attacking move. Yeah, yeah. So uh, very, very good stuff. Oh, okay. Wow, that move is so safe on block. Like he yeah. actually just up aired in his face and jumped and did not get shit. Yet. Yeah, it's uh, very few things can actually punish it. Jeez, and it confirms like. Yeah, <laughs> uh, confirms into both itself and Waft. Yeah, let me just. Uh, and uh, I'm not gonna say much about that one. <laughs> so you know, good you guys, move. Yeah, you guys already know how quote unquote good that is. Okay, but tick for tack here, but Arson's out to play. Ooh, misses the confirm. Yeah, um, I mean, he I don't gone think for it would. Yeah, I don't think it would have killed, but. Oh, just stalling up there with the bike. He's like, yeah, there's no reason for me to. I like that he went for forward smash because that was the one that was, should have that could have killed. Okay, he faded in with the, he faded in with that fair and he got caught. Oh man, can Sue close this out? The arson is about to leave the party. Oh, he reads that he's gonna do that. Oh man, and Sue. Ah, the normal get up. Yeah, and. It's, it's so important that Sue gets these stocks with Arsene, and I just feel like Kameme is so good at avoiding that. And oh, he doesn't get it. Wow, he, it, it looked he, like it snapped, but didn't reel in. 
Yeah, I mean, Kamehameha figured him off so far. I think that he accidentally, either he accidentally hit it like that or it really was too far. Yeah. Unfortunately there for Sue, but I mean, amazing stuff from Kamehameha. Kind of like scaring him off into that situation there. And now he's got all this, all this percent. Can Sue land a stock kill with no arson is the question. You know, uh, off live in about five seconds. Well, actually, it looks like he's flashing because he ate some things. Yeah, uh, Waff is for sure a scary position right now. So down Man, throw. He is Doesn't still alive. Oh, this Sue. Is suit, super deadly. Oh, that Nair. That was this a super is dangerous situation to be in. Oh, my. Oh, air dodges through it. Just that was almost like the cleanest thing ever. But, like, this is a scary thing because... You could, if you can't get the stock as Arsene, when can you get the stock, man? He's at 220%. Aegon, Aegon almost doing it. He's still willing to run in the Joker at 235 and throw out aerials. This guy's a madman. Yeah, I mean, he knows. He just knows. The, the amount of spacing and confidence you have to have, this is definitely like this, the highest percentage. Have, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what the down throw. Like 140, 150. Yeah, 240, like, yeah. Or 200, yeah, 240, 250. The Warrior just living forever. That has got to be like the highest percent we've seen someone live this tournament. You know, maybe that was one of the things that kind of separates like Sue's Joker from like MK Leo's. MK Leo was able to find those kills. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, Leo is just so good at the conditioning game in certain situations. Oh, gets a chomp on the normal get up. Gets the edge guard here, tries to do a run up fair, and jumping right over that Sue with the jump into the up B. Barely avoiding that edge guard. Ooh, near to up air. Try to get the guns down, and Arsene is out to play. And of course, the crowd, right when he came out, they were like, Arsene! Ooh, the down air getting it the right way. All right. This is a, a dire situation for Sue. Oh, man. This is looking uh, <laughs> pretty grim, but you know, when you, when you got Arsene, you're always in it, man. Right now, he doesn't yeah, have it. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have it, but if he gets it, you know, he can be in a dangerous position. Up air, up air, big damage coming out here for Kameme. One nice thing is if you're getting jammed real hard, uh, Arsene comes out to help you. <laughs> okay, right. here's Arsene though. Kameme looking for a half off setup soon. Oh, tried to get the up, oh. so he, he's looking for that half off setup for sure. Oh, the Nair, there's no double jump. Very safe, very patient here on this ledge trap. Tech chase, no, Kameme does not pull the trigger. Here's the waft. Oh, oh dang. Yo, the crowd saying he wants to finish it with the waft. No he way. gets it with the head hitbox. What? The anti air hitbox of waft. All right. Well, Kameme is your champion for your 2GG Grand Tour, South Carolina. Amazing play by Kameme. Wow. Especially the way he finished it with the with the anti-air headbutt walk. You usually don't even see that kill too often, honestly. No, no, you really don't. I mean, it'll kill at higher percents. Sometimes you can get it into an up bead, like, very rarely. Yo, that's hype. Yeah. Yo, that but sounds it, it super is, hype. It is, you know, he just pulled the trigger, and he's pulled you're definitely, the so many times. You're definitely giving, like, all the Wario mains that, or just, like, people that have, like, pocket Warios, I, like, combo ideas at home. For, oh, yeah. You know, pro tip, man. You already know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so hungry. <laughs> yes, I think everyone in the crowd is like, get let's food. get food. Let's get food. But, All um, right. I mean, that is going to be it. Yep, yeah, that is going to be right. it from us.